Hello and welcome to Bay One. This is Trafal Moraxi, and this is part three of building a dragon bot. In the last couple of episodes, we covered uh, most of the arm construction, the leg construction, and fleshing out some of the tail here, and also doing some of the work around the hips. Um, now we're probably going to focus a little bit more on getting some of the weaponry on there and trying to covering, cover in a large part of the actual frame through the center here. Um, the wings is more than likely going to be in the next video, but let's see if we can get the main body section completed first. So first thing we need to do, I need to grab another one of these plasma guns, which this is a, yeah, I, I believe. Uh, tier 8 asthma. I could probably fit tier 9s on here, but we'll go with the tier 8s for now. Yeah, there's space there for bigger weapons. And I'm also going to do a quick test to see if I can actually use a uh, lower tiered helium on this. Uh, so let's find the T4 helium and get back up in this area. Although I think I'm going to have to actually remove that underneath on the anchor block again. Uh, the reason for trying to use a lower tier helium is to see if it gives enough lift and reduces some of the drag. Um, and now we need to attempt to actually build out this section here which I'm going to use a prism on that. Uh, this is going to be a little bit trickier. Um, we're going to need some kind of anchor point in there. Uh, so let's go ahead and actually buy some more cubes. Just holding down control and clicking to buy bulk amounts. I'm going to invest in a hundred of each. And there we go. And then looking at that, we want to create an anchor point there, another anchor point here. Grab these two prisms as so. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, um, that also means that this can probably be changed to a different block type. Um, that's how realistic we really want to get with it. I was to put that in. I'm going to rotate that around there, that way it also connects onto the back there. Don't need, really need the reinforcement on that side, so. In which case, we would actually want that changed out for a proper prism. Yeah, because we need to fill in that cap, so that works. And then going down here, uh, we can probably do the same with... No, we don't, because that needs to be a proper block. Um, yeah, this is the problem with the hover blades, is uh, uh, making sure that we got parts or areas around them where we can mount stuff. So we want to try and make sure that looks at least filled in. That using the prisms and need to go on that side and fix this. Okay, let's work on the bottom here. Uh, 
That give us more to actually build with. And grab some more prisms. There we go. It's the middle click in case you're wondering how I'm doing this. That copies the cube that you have your mouse hovering over. Although it only works if you've actually got any of them. And then that's an inverted block there. We want to make sure that that's got a solid connection up. Do the same on the other side. Yeah, we're not actually going to be able to fill that part in correctly. But this will do for now. And if we can get back inside here so that we can... Yeah, glitch in a little bit. Take that hover blade out. As that's not connected anymore, we can move that around. Although that's part of the arm design, isn't it? Yeah, so we need to not move that one around. Oh, let me in. There we go. And instead we need to block that off. Like so. And then we can put this back in a minute if I can work out a different way of approaching this section. Um, I mean, there's nothing actually connecting... Oh, there is something connecting to that from the outside. I think that orientation would actually be better because it gives a potential to mount something underneath the here. Um, even though it's really not going to work, but we we'll put that back. That's about as much as we can do for that section. Now, I don't really like having that um, open segment, but we'll probably have to deal with that for the sake of the design. So that's the top part of the body filled out, and now let's move down here. Start filling out the bottom section. Grab some more prisms to go along here. going to be able to put that in that rotation down there, so go along the bottom.
And that's the majority of the body actually finished. Um, let's go ahead and check this quickly. I uh, also need to do some extra stuff down here just to connect the legs on more securely. Uh, but let's give this a quick test run. It's working with less helium in the head. Uh, we'll need to see if we can actually get it to take off though. Might be a little bit heavy. It almost flies. So we're going to have to look at adding more thrust onto it and uh, possibly putting the helium back in the head. Um, or more helium in there. But anyway, that's it for the body section. And we will see you in the next video which covers the wing. Uh, or wings, sorry. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.